Of emotions ran high in Fulton County Court after the family of a teenager who was killed in a crash is forced to relive the horror. Chris Gloninger was in court today when the boy's family confronted the teen who was behind the wheel and caused that crash. Uh, Justin Ben Ostman, it's the judgment of this court that under conviction for the crime of manslaughter in the second degree, you are hereby sentenced to an indeterminate sentence of incarceration in the custody of the New York State Department of Corrections for a minimum term of two and one third years and a maximum term of seven years. That's how long Justin Van Ostrand will spend in prison following the traffic crash, which left Christopher Nsonga dead and Kelsey Nsonga critically injured. Van Ostrand was cuffed and taken away by Fulton County Sheriff's deputies, but not before hearing from the victim's mother, Christine Pinkerton. I remember asking what the greatest feeling of panic. Where is he did? And I remember her saying, he didn't make it. Kelsey and Sanga sat in the courtroom in her wheelchair listening to the statement she wrote as her mother read it. And Sanga felt that no sentence would be long enough for the crash that left her critically injured and her brother dead. My suggestion, as well as going to prison, is for you to talk to kids in the schools about reckless driving and racing. After the family spoke, then Ostrand read a brief statement. I stand here today to begin the family, the Ellen family. After spending the afternoon in court, coming up on the CBS 6 News tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll bring you back to the accident scene along Route 29 in Fulton County. And we spoke with some of the residents who are still unsatisfied that public officials have not done anything to improve the safety along that stretch of road. Reporting in Johnstown, Chris Gloninger, CBS 6 News.